this video is gonna it's gonna it's gonna cover a factor by grouping, uh, which we've already done. So we'll just see the example real quick. Now here with this, I see four terms, and that's gonna be your little hint. If you see four terms, you might be able to try factor by grouping. That means you separate stuff. And I'm gonna write that. Actually, the first thing that you should do here is see if you can divide by this uh, common factor, right? Divide uh, by whatever's in common so it can make the problem smaller, but that doesn't happen in this case, so we just separate. And I can divide each of these by 16 and an n squared. Whatever I divide by goes on the outside of the parentheses, and I'm left with, on the inside of the parentheses, I'm left with a, uh, I guess, n plus 2. Cool. And then I'm going to divide by negative 1 whenever this first term is negative, even if it was over here. If that term was negative, you would divide by a negative. So that's, I'm going to write that down actually. So if the first, and I'm talking about this, if the first term is negative, divide by a negative. Uh, so we divided by negative 1, or I divided by negative 1, and I get just regular n. Negative divided by negative is a positive and a plus 2. Now, those are the same, so I factor those out. n plus 2 times 16n squared minus 1. Oh, oh, look at this. You see this? Can I square root that? Of course, you can. it's 4. Can I square root the n squared? Yeah, that's just regular n. The square root of 1 is 1, so I can square root everything. And this is subtraction, so this follows my difference of squares pattern. n plus 2. And what would that be? It would be 4n and 1. 4n and 1. And then 1 plus 1 minus. So it's important that you keep looking to factor, if you can. Here, I can square root the 4, but I cannot square root the n, so I can't continue on. And this is a plus anyway. Here it's minus, but again, I can't square root the n and get a regular n. So um, that's it for that example. That was pretty quick. I'm going to do one more. Same same idea. So let's see. Now right away I try to divide by something, but I can't. So then I would group this, or separate it, and then divide by what? Z squared. Whatever I divide by goes on the outside. I'm just going to run through these steps real quick. And I have Z. Maybe you paused it. Hopefully you pause it. Try it on your own or try it on your own from here. Uh, this would be just z minus 5. No, plus 5. Why did I put a minus there? Something's wrong. Let me back up a bit. It should have been a regular z squared. I'm trying to go too quickly. So then I have z minus 5 there. Here, what can I... Well, the first term is negative, so I must divide by negative, and I can divide by 9. So... There should be negative 9 out there. That's just positive z minus, right? Positive divided by negative is a negative. Minus 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Yes. Oh, look, they're the same. Cool. z minus 5 and z squared minus 9. Oh, it happened again. That's a difference of squares. I'm always trying to look and see, oh, can I keep factoring? Can I keep factoring? Can I keep factoring? And it turns out on this one, yes. I can't keep going here or here because I can't square root z without it being the square root of z. I, I can't, like, square root uh, z squared, that becomes z, something that's nice. So I can, I can do that here. All right, that's it for this video.